lower half that covers it. I'm going to start off by the snap, the Lady B snap, which that I posted on Goodreads.com. I said, Hourglass by Claudia Gray is the third book in the Evernight series. The book immediately begins after Bianca and Raquel agree to join Black Cross. Both Bianca and Raquel are forced into intensive training and learn to fight for their lives. But being a member of a vampire slaying group forces Bianca to deny her vampire identity. She goes days on end without blood, which weakens her. Bianca and Lucas both know they need to escape Black Cross before Bianca's secret is revealed. But Mrs. Bethany and the other Evernight vampires have not forgotten Bianca. In fact, they attack the Black Cross headquarters and kill many of their vampire hunters. The Black Cross manages to capture one of the vampires in hopes to interrogate him to discover Mrs. Bethany's intentions. They capture Balthazar. After seeing the torture Balthazar undergoes, Bianca knows she can't stay in the group for much longer, for fear that the same torture may happen to her if Black Cross finds out she is half vampire. However, one day Raquel and Dana see Bianca drink blood. From there, everything goes downhill. Lucas and Bianca are forced to escape Black Cross. Now they have the vampires and Black Cross after them, but Bianca's dwindling strength, strength shows that the hourglass is slowly running out of sand and she will make a big change. So I rated this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really, really liked it. Um, I loved how Claudia Gray wrote it and made me want to keep reading it. Um, I Now there was a certain part where I was like in denial and I didn't want to read it because I kind of found out what was going to happen and I was like, oh, that's not what I wanted. But I realized that if everything went the way I wanted, it'd be super boring and not so thriller-like. Um, but I really liked it. When the book started and Bianca and Raquel were in the um, Black Cross, I was kind of disappointed because I was like, okay, well, no more Evernight. And I really liked Evernight. And I thought I wasn't going to see, like, Vic or Renault for Balthazar ever again. And as I said in my synopsis, you do see Balthazar again, you do see Vic again, you do, do see Renault again. Which I was very, very happy about because I loved those characters. Um, you get to find out more about who they are. Bianca Gray kind of, Bianca Gray, <laughs> Claudia Gray kind of goes further into who they are as people. And you get to find out more about them, which I think is really interesting. I mean, Renolf is funny as ever with his medieval way of thinking. Vic is super funny with his, like, non-conformist beliefs, and Balthazar is Balthazar. Um, I really like this book. I have, I have one complaint about this book, and it's very, very minor, and it doesn't really alter my, my five out of five stars, but the book just ended on a severe, severe cliffhanger. I've never read a cliffhanger like this before. And if I didn't have Afterlife, Afterlife with me immediately, you know, to read immediately after reading Hourglass, I'd be very, very mad. Especially if I was waiting for Afterlife to come out. Um, I don't know. It was just like, I don't feel like that's how you should end a book. It was just sort of like, done, you know? And I was just like, kind of disappointed, but I immediately went into reading Afterlife, so it was okay, but I feel like if I was waiting for Afterlife to come out, I'd hunt down Claudia Gray and demand that she tells me what happens in the book. But I really, really did like the book. I I love this series. It's not the typical vampire series that you may read or you've heard of. It's different. I like that. Um, it's just, it's really good. To me, I like how things don't go as it seems, even though it does disappoint me, but I realize that that's what a good author is. So I definitely, definitely recommend this series and this book, but make sure you read Evernight and um, Stargazer before, because I feel like if you read it, if you read um, Hourglass on the Spot, you'd be so confused, because she kind of, Claudia Gray kind of immediately jumps into Hourglass without providing much of an explanation as to what happened, it just immediately starts with Black Cross, so definitely look into these books. And, side note, I have 20 subscribers now. I'm super excited. I mean, I dream to get in the double digits, and I'm there. 
and I want to thank all of you for believing me and also I really want to thank this new friend that I've made, Justin. I'm going to post a link to his channel. Um, he's super nice and he does a weekly um, like book community kind of video where he posts like a bunch of newbie book reviewers out and I was and I am one of those and it gave me so many subscribers so I want to thank Justin and all my 20 new friends so thank you guys and um, I hope you have a good day and look forward to another video bye